So, the name that keeps going around at the minute, reporters are linking us with him. There are also heavy rumours that Dean Smith is currently in talks with Sheffield Wednesday. One of many, I am sure, but he is the one that seems to be gathering all the attention at the minute. Is Dean Smith going to be the next manager of Sheffield Wednesday? Now, I wanted to sit down and talk to you about this today because this is one of the managers that I have previously mentioned I think would be a realistic fit for Wednesday. You look at a project. Dean Smith's been known in the past to talk about liking progressive projects, you know, progressive clubs. Argue what you will about Sheffield Wednesday, but if you're talking about a project and some progression and the chance to come in and build, he did give that to Darren Moore. Let's try and not talk about the situation, the fact that Darren Moore is no longer at the club. He's not been sacked. It's all a bit weird. Mutual consent situation with him there. I don't think we're going to get to the bottom of that anytime soon. The fans forum didn't really help with that, but what he did say at the fans forum was wanting a manager who plays attacking football as the next manager of Sheffield Wednesday and made a big, big claim that he was aiming for playoffs. So we've just been promoted out of League One and Chancery wants the new manager of Sheffield Wednesday to be getting them into the playoffs, which is quite a task, to say the least. Now, the thing I keep hearing with Dean Smith is he relies on players. Yes, he's had the likes of Morpé and Watkins at Brentford. He's had Jack Grealish and McGinn at Villa. You know, big players. There's no doubting that. That is part of it. But in terms of the way he sets up, he's used a 4-3-3. He's played with a 4-2-3-1. He likes attacking football. He's played quite a high line. Some of his defences have been a little bit leaky, especially early in the days at Brentford. And that is probably the problem you have had with certain Dean Smith sides. They, um, they leak quite a few goals. But in terms of, I'd like to think he's developed that over time because you saw his defences compact in a little bit more. Yes, they occasionally still used a high line and there was pivots and everything going off. But a bit more of a compact defence, the ability to sort of have that aggression and to regain possession. There was more of an intensity in some of his sides as time went on. Now to play in these kind of high tempo, high press sides, you need energy. I think that's going to be the big key thing if Dean Smith becomes Wednesday manager. Chancery likes the fact that we're, we're starting to use youth players. That seems to have been a stra- transfer strategy with the recruitment team and the likes recently bringing younger players. Yeah, you can counteract, argue that with sort of like Michael Smith and the likes, but I think that's adding experience and proven goal scorers on top of what we already had and bringing the youth in to be the future. I think as we go forward, you're going to need that youth. You're going to need that energy, especially in a Dean Smith side. If we're going to play that kind of football, players are going to have to run into the ground and be aggressive and have that energy and ability to keep that tempo up. So it's going to cater to younger players. So that's probably a benefit for the club there if it happens. And I don't think we'd be moaning if, you know, we signed some younger players, took a chance on them, and then they developed in a Smith system. You could argue that Mope and Watkins did better after Smith had left Brentford, but It's one of those things where you look at it and go, he set the groundwork for some of those players that stood out and he could be building something at Sheffield Wednesday in regards to that, attacking players. You look at his time at Villa, yes, he had Jack Grealish, okay? When they lost Jack Grealish, they struggled. They struggled to, it's Jack Grealish, it's it's hard to find a replacement for that attacking midfielder type player. But you did see sort of, they crossed the ball a lot more than his previous size. The one thing I've been saying for quite some time as a Sheffield Wednesday fan, is we don't get enough crosses. There's players in good positions and the crosses don't happen. We have started to see it a little bit more. You know, this season, crosses have actually won us crucial games and you think about Wembley and the likes, but he could set us up as more of a crossing side, have somebody like Barry Bannon, who is probably his ideal sort of player. A few years ago, Barry Bannon, this would be a no-brainer, but even now you'd think Dean Smith would be able to utilise him and get the best out of him. So Barry Bannon getting in those positions, making those crosses, making those killer through balls, it'd be useful. And he probably wouldn't have to run as much. He could be one of the players that doesn't potentially... Yes, okay, there's an argument for Nini's box-to-box players there, but Bannon can be that, but he can also ping it from deep, so there's options. 
You'll also probably find, say you put Windass as an attacking midfielder, he might overlap as an attacking midfielder with more wide players. And we might see a little bit more of that game, you know, going at teams and not being as, well, conservative on the ball. That could be a thing that we we don't see as much. You know, we, we might not see these one as we might see some batterings because that's the thing. As I've said, those defences can leak goals. Those, those, when you're going for it, you can get done on the counter. But if we can compact the defence in, make it efficient, make sure we're aggressive in regaining possession, then that could be the benefit. But we, we, if we want to see that kind of football, it, it could work. Now, yes, in terms of promotion out of the championship, he's done it with Villa. It was through the playoffs. He's not a manager that's going to come in and he's going to get you automatics. He might be, but history suggests that might not be what happens. But we're aiming for playoffs. He's won the playoffs with Villa. You look at it on paper and you go, maybe it's all starting to stack up a little bit. He would also be bringing in his own coaching staff. That includes John Terry. Would that change your opinion on certain things? Would that be of a benefit to the club? You know, players that I'm sure some a lot of defenders would have looked up to John Terry, for example. So there's that side to it as well. And Dean Smith obviously played for Wednesday. He had a history of playing for Wednesday. He knows the club. He's got that about him. So all the things are starting to add up. If you look at the way he plays, I can see that being a project for him. And I'm not against it. I think Dean Smith, in the situation we are in, you've got to look at, is he better than Darren Moore? Probably. I mean, Darren Moore deserved a chance in the championship. That's not going to go away. I think even Chan Siri agreed with that at the fans forum. But he's played with clubs with bigger expectations recently. Dean Smith has. And he's sort of, you know, he's failed He's failed in certain scenarios, not hit certain targets and things like that, but he's been in and amongst it. Wednesday would be more of a time to build and a bit more of a project. I'd hope, I hope if we're getting him in, you know, we've got to actually give him that time. We can't just say, oh, well, you didn't reach playoffs, you're off now. It would need to be more of a couple of year project to get the youth players in. Let's get them all understanding the system. Let's just attack this and do the best we can in the first year. But this, out of all the names linked, it's the one that I'm leaning to at the minute. Steven Gerrard, his contact book's wicked. So I I would sort of not be too fussed with that. I wouldn't be absolutely against Gerrard becoming a Sheffield Wednesday manager, purely because you can imagine the loans. But Dean Smith's been in and around it recently. You would imagine that he could probably attract a good loan player as well. And if we are working on a bit more of a tighter budget, he might be able to use utilize that side of the game. But yeah, there's still loads of manager names going around. There's Campelos. There's that uh, Ianachi. Is it Ianachi? Giuseppe? Giuseppe Ianachi or something? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But there's a quite a few managers linked with Wednesday at the minute. Dean Smith's somebody I know a little bit more about. So for me, this is where I'm leaning out of all the names currently linked. But I want to know what you guys think. I will obviously talk about this more if this happens. But I want to get your thoughts on it now. So if we do the Talking Wednesday podcast, discuss all your thoughts on there, probably from the comment section on this video. So let me know all of your thoughts below. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things, and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.